am Ivo and I run Do Good Films. When we knew we were travelling to Uganda, we reached out to NetHope, who were very keen to engage us to make a series of short films about their work in northern Uganda. Connecting their partners, their members and refugees uh, to the global village. We embarked on an arduous eight-hour drive to um, Arua, which is the, the provincial capital of the Western Nile. And this is also a place with the highest uh, number of South Sudanese refugees fleeing the conflict in South Sudan. For the NGOs who respond to these crises, it's absolutely essential to be able to effectively communicate with their partners, their offices, their funders. And what NetHope does is they enable them to effectively communicate, they provide internet connectivity in these very rural and underdeveloped areas. And ultimately, they even provide connectivity to refugees through um, internet centers, through uh, distributing mobile phones, and, and help them live uh, lives as close as possible to normality in those difficult conditions. Connectivity is one of the things that, uh, that after we've addressed the, the basic needs, the shelter, the food, the sanitation, the health, is what, what really, you know, helps them stay part of the human family we all are. Over the last week we visited several of, of NetHope's establishments. The, one of the most impressive ones, uh, to me anyways, was the C10 Center in, um, in Rhino Camp. The reason I say impressive is because it is an organic refugee-started, refugee-led and refugee-centered project that started as simple as a charging point for their mobile phones and a place where they can play DVDs. And through their partnership with NetHope and UNHCR, some of the organizations, they were able to scale it up into a proper equipped classroom, if you wish, where refugees can come and connect to the internet, they can reach out to their friends and family, they can take classes in everything from how to set up a Gmail account to a social entrepreneurship to gain skills, even if it's just watching YouTube videos on how to sew things together. So they, they're learning vital skills and they're staying connected with the world, which is essential to them to, to feel that they matter. One of the people we spoke to was Lillian, a young woman from South Sudan whose dream is to become an accountant, work in a bank. And through C10 and through NetHope's help, she's able to learn vital IT skills from, you know, from operating the software to staying connected. And we very much wish that when, when things calm down in South Sudan, she'll be able to come back and be one of the people who will help rebuild the country. Another impressive project we looked at was the, the device challenge that's run um, with NetHope and Mercy Corps. So they managed to strike a deal with local telephone operator and distribute at a below the market price 20,000 phones to refugees who are then able to stay in touch. They're able to use mobile money so they can send money abroad, they can receive money from their families and they can set up businesses. These bonds run our businesses like we have some calculations which we get through the bond. It's as simple as having a mobile phone that helps these people to stay connected and, uh, and live in the 21st century. We brought a vast arsenal of tools, from the drone to equipment that enables us to shoot in a super slow motion, to time lapse, to uh, gimbals that will help us capture movement. How do you show a, a challenge as huge as, as millions of refugees scattered across uh, thousands of miles? We fly above it. And I believe this, uh, the, this footage is going to have great value for us and, and for the viewer, ultimately, who needs to see the scale. I think the most important takeaway for me as a filmmaker from the work NetHope does is it humanizes the refugees. You know, we are so used to the footage of, of dire needs and people cramped in refugee camps and people cramped in those squalid conditions and it just turns them into something we don't even associate being the same species with us. But they are, they are people who had businesses, who had families, who have mobile phones, who have Facebook. They have just the same needs as we have in Europe. We wake up and we reach for our mobile phones and to stay connected, to be able to communicate with people we, we met throughout our lives. And the work NetHope does helps the refugees to feel that they matter. Please stay tuned to our blog. 
Please laugh with me at how horrible I am in front of camera. And, and check our beautiful vlogs and blogs and, and please follow us on our journey. Cut. Energy, energy. <sighs>